Um, I don't know what's going on. I, there seems to be some fear of a communist invasion in the United States. Um, two uh, of the leading Republican politicians uh, have, have announced that they will not, you know, one, that they will not allow, not allow commies into the country. <laughs> the other, um, that communists and socialists are not welcome in Florida. Leave, don't come. I mean, this is all within 24 hours. Rick Scott, uh, Rick Scott, the senator uh, from the state of Florida, did a video that has gone, I don't know, watch millions and millions of people. And, um, you know, Rick Scott has basically uh, uh, said in this video that if you're a communist or socialist, don't come to California. Don't come to Florida. Don't come as a tourist. Don't come um, uh, to, to live there. We don't want you. We don't like you. Please stay away. I mean, <laughs> what the hell's going on? Are conservative trans okay? Is it is it just socialist? I mean, uh, you know, if you're if you're not a socialist and a communist, but you are a drag queen, is that okay in Florida? What what is exactly is the issue? Uh, is the issue? Uh, you know, I hate communists, eh, socialists. There are just too many of them, uh, and it needs to be fought. But communists clearly evil. What's the video for? Who's it trying to rally? Who's it, what statement is it making about what? It's just bizarre. Now, there's some rumors that Rick Scott might also join the unbelievably crowded field running for president, which is just bizarre. I don't know why we have so many candidates on the Republican side. Uh, it's, it's almost like, you know, Trump is paying all these people to run for president so that uh, they split all the anti-Trump vote and, and Trump just waltzes in. So Rick Scott tells, I, I, I watched the video, it's like, where is this coming from? What, what is the deal? Th this is how you bolster your credentials as a capitalist or a freedom lover? Then tell us what freedom and capitalism mean to you. Don't say you're not welcome, don't come here. Uh, are we going to now institute at the border of Florida, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, loyalty oaths or... Um, tests to see uh, how socialist you really are. <laughs> Don't get it. Uh, Donald Trump then, of course, um, within uh, almost at the same time, I guess, I don't know if they coordinated this, says that if, when he becomes president, one of the, one of the things he's going to do in terms of immigration regulations is he is going to bar communists and Marxists from entering the country. Communists and Marxists, he's going to use Section 212F of the Immigration and Nationality Act, this is what he said, to order my government to deny entry to all communists and Marxists. How do you identify them? Do you go dig into their past? If they were communists once and now are not, is that okay? I mean, listen also to how it's phrased, right? Those who come to enjoy our country must love our country. We're going to keep foreign, Christian-hating communists, Marxists and socialists out of America. I wonder if you're a Christian-hating capitalist, like maybe me, um, if, that, if, if that counts as well. It's amazing how we just threw in the Christian-hating right there. I, I would argue communists are not that Christian-hating, but there it is. Are we now, again, going to have um, a test at the border uh, to uh, verify how committed you are to a particular ideology? Are we going to rummage through your history? Is there now going to be an uh, ideological test? Is the government, therefore, going to define what is acceptable and what is unacceptable? What is pro-America and what is not? What loving America means and what loving America doesn't mean? Who is going to make these decisions? How are they going to make them? Are we going to ban leftists when Trump is president? And then are, going to be, are we going to ban Christians when, I don't know, uh, uh, you know, some Democrat is president? Are we now going to violate freedom of speech, freedom of ideas? Now, it is true that uh, if you're a member of the Communist Party, you cannot gain citizenships in the United States. But a political party 
is different than just holding an ideology. So this is bizarre. It's nuts. It's these games these politicians play. You know, it was like the Muslim ban that, 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 that Trump put in, which is just nonsensical and just, just for, you know, for, for uh, show. Um, you know, we're going to keep foreign Christian hating communist, Marxist, and socialists out of America. But don't worry, you, you atheist, Christian hating capitalist, you're safe for now. Because once you start, once you start using ideology, as a framework for accepting people into the country or not, any president can use any ideology to frame this. And this is supposedly by executive order. Anyway, it just, it just nuttiness. Uh, and, and, and again, these, this, this man, Donald Trump, is the favorite, at least to be, by far, to be the Republican nominee. I mean, it's not even close. And in the latest polls, uh, he, he is even beating DeSantis by bigger and bigger margins. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.